Now don't go over there. No, you can't go by the can by the camera cords. Can't but go by the cords. Need a baby girl. All right, give it a couple minutes. Give it a couple minutes. Little Malibu. Oh no, no, no! Can't go. No, can't go by the cords. Can't go by the cords. <laughs> Hi, Tommy, Joe, Rachel. You like? <laughs> She's just a purring away. Just a purring. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Icy, Amaris, Linda. Hi, Mama Four. Good to see you. Hi, Journey. Look, you're shedding. <laughs> I just brushed you yesterday. Oh. Hi, Melody. How you doing? Hi, Hi, Tori. How you doing? Good to see you back. Are you home, Tori? Well, I'm guessing you are home if you're here. Barb, Pamela, who else? Terry, anybody else I miss? I'm trying to, she wants to go over here to the courts and I won't let her. So, <laughs> right, baby? You want to go play with the courts? I already have to try to keep her away from my little lights. Yes, this is Malibu. Ugh. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Scrap Girl 12. Yes, came home Thursday on the men. Thank you so much. Awesome. We've been having lots of people praying, thinking of you. So that's all good news, Tori. We're happy for that. Welcome back. Now stay healthy or stay on the mend. Stay on the mend, Tori. Hi, Riri. Hi, Becky Kalora. I know Rachel's always, Rachel has been like your, your uh, prayer <laughs> connection with everybody, Tori. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Who else? I know I'm probably missing people. I said, Riri. Uh, who else? I see, baby. Just a purring. Just a purring. Hi, Dawn. So, uh, yeah, my name's Dee Dee. Right, right there. Um, it's really technically coffee and art in the morning, but, you know, usually I drink. <laughs> By the time I stream, I'm already finished with my coffee and ha into cranberry juice or lemon water. So, um, but I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Yes, that's true. That is true, uh, Tori. Rachel is your angel for sure. Hi, Janet. Who else? Um, let's see. Uh, oops. Click there. We go. Just want to look up at the camera at everybody. <laughs> She's just purring. I don't think y'all can hear, but she is. I'm a Seki. I didn't put on any jewelry. Let me put on some jewelry. Hold on, guys. I did my nails, but I haven't put on any jewelry. Let me do that real quick. Let's see what we got here. Should I put on the same colors I always put on? Some different colors. Let's see. Where's my little ring? Oh, there's some pink. I'll put the pink on on my pink watch arm. There's my ring. Let's see here. I'll just go ahead and put on the same colors. Got a bunch of blue ones here. I'll put on my blue. I'll put on my blue and my pink. I have a, I just have a big bowl full of stuff that I pick from here. So, all right. There we go. We're dressed, Malibu. We're dressed. <laughs> We're dressed. <laughs> Hi, Leona, Becky. Who else? That's not a Dawn. Mm, let's see. Car Hermit's Tail, Carmen. Uh, Missy. Oh, get well soon, Missy. Get well soon. Uh, who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing people, but 
Thanks, everybody, for being here. She's going to have to be going. She's going to have to get off of here in just a second. I need to get her brush because I'm petting her. I'm petting her, and I'm, it's making her shed. So I use her brush, and it takes off all the takes off all the hair. So, all right, baby, you're going to have to get down now. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby girl. Oh, I know. Mama made you move. <laughs> I made you move. So, where are you? There you are. Okay, so, well, I thought, yeah, the clouds leaving some little clouds behind, yeah. <sighs> Dust my, I have a uh, thing that I do with my desk to get uh, fur. I got a little mini vacuum cleaner, so. <laughs> I know. She's just laying on the floor next to me, though. Okay. So, I thought today... I was working on some of my uh, different collages again. My These are all the collages I've cut down from old journal pages. And uh, so I thought, well, I pulled out some more old journal pages, which I don't even know which ones you've seen, which ones you haven't. But these are another stack of old journal pages. And I just keep them in this little folder thing that I made. And um, then I cut them down. And then I turn them into... I, I I uh, tape them on to I tape them on to um, just some white cardstock and start other collages. So I thought we, if y'all wanted to play along, see if you can find yourself, see if you can find yourself an old art journal. Um, what do you call it? The old art journal pages. I got a glare right there. Let me turn off that overhead light. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you want to, you know, play along and uh, just have some old journal pages, some kind of collage fodder. It could be out of a magazine. It could be out of one of our collage books that we use all the time, like this one. We use this one all the time. Extraordinary things to cut out in collage. So... Or just an old, ma you know, a magazine. Find you an image for a focal point. And play along. Okay, let me move the camera over this way just a little. Because I'm not. Uh, there we go. Let's turn the brightness down. That should do it. That should be okay. So, you know, some things you can't really fix till you're live. So, let's see. So, Terry, Melinda, good morning. Hi, Bacola. Having your first cup of tea, a little snapdragon. <laughs> Hi, cat and paste. How you doing? Did you do any new color book pages in the last day? Let's see. Who else am I looking for? Make sure I don't miss anybody. I try not to. Try not to miss anybody. So, let's see. Ooh. Um... Arlene posted this picture. That's pretty Arlene. I don't think I haven't seen her here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> There's Arlene. I just saw her. Yeah, we're all saying hi to Tori and welcoming her back, Arlene. That's a beautiful picture. Um, let's see. I'm trying to keep up with chat. Hi, Lori, painty girl. Good morning. Anybody else I miss coming in? Oh, yeah, she's been doing this little character. Let me scroll back to where I saw. I think this was the first one. She's been doing this little guy. I don't know what book it's from. Benny, It's Benny Blue Bunny, coloring page by, I don't know who, C-A, oh, oh, uh, um, Christina, Christine Karen. Okay, I did not know she did these, these bunnies. So there's that one. Look at all of them. Aren't they cute? These are so cute. With the mismatched socks. You've done quite a few. Aren't they adorable, guys? 
Mini Blue Bunny. Oh, it's a PDF. Okay. So, um, yeah, go over there and follow Cat and Paste and uh, Christine Karen if you want to see more of these. Awesome. <laughs> They're so adorable. So adorable. Uh, let's see. I said hi to Barb. Well, flowers are volunteer. I suppose I have the birds to thank for spreading some seeds. Oh, well, they sure are pretty, Arlene. They sure are. They're lovely. They're lovely flowers. Yeah, you've colored a lot of them. Four or five of them, cat and paste. Um, I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Let's see. Aw. Rachel saying, Tori, it almost feels normal again with you here. We're so glad that she's back. We were we were concerned about you, Tori. So glad you're glad you're on the mend. So if anybody wants to play along, find some old art journal pages or an old art journal. I'm going to start with the some of the pages here. Well, maybe I'll start with. Uh, no, I think I will. I'll start with some of the old art pages. Then I'll show you what I've done with some of them, which y'all probably most of y'all probably seen various, you know, parts of this. And uh, and then I did pull out my thousand one ways to be creative to read out of those books, and we'll see if we have time to do something out of our three hundred and sixty five days of art. We've done what three things out of here now? Yeah, we've done three things out of here. I still haven't put them in any kind of a notebook yet. I probably should. I do have a little little gold three ring binder up there. I could put them in that. Let's see. Um. What do I have in this binder? I got so many little binders. All right, this one's just got paper in it. So this would work. This has just got copy paper in it. Look, this would be perfect. We'll use this little thin one. We'll use this little thin binder with this later. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. <laughs> Everything's to the side. There's no more sides. <laughs> All the sides are full. Rachel? Rachel likes a daily dose of ASMR. It keeps her happy. <laughs> All right. So these are old journal pages. Some of them I don't want to cut up because like this one, I had names for them and I posted them back in. Let's see. This one was from... 2011 um so some of them are like from two yeah these top ones are from 2011 that i used uh back on my Ustream thumbnail front page uh did a little it did a little uh scroll through and um so these were back from 2011 i can't believe it's been that long 2011 but that's how when these pages were done. So I won't cut these top ones up, but they are old pages and they are in here. And uh, let's see, is it the brightness too? Let's see what we can do here. Let's turn the brightness down just a little. Maybe, um, I don't know if I want to zoom in one. Maybe, maybe zoom in one. Is that too close? Yeah, it might be a little close for now. Let's back back, back out for a minute until we start doing something. So these are um, old pages that were um, on my Ustream scroll through. So some of them have titles. That one I called Axis. Let's see, I know some of these have titles. Let's see. Descent and Ascent. This one was... City on a Hill. This one was Seed of Life. So I did have names for some of them. Let's see here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> but they're, I, I took them out. I mean, they're not in art journals anymore. And some I like and some I don't. So here's what I want y'all to do. If you, um, if you have an old art journal that you don't like all the pages pick one out 
pick out a or a few pick out a few pages hi nanette who else my Teresa. Yep. Good morning, all the lurkers in the balcony. Yeah, Rachel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And uh, so, uh, let's see. Maybe this one. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper, some kind of paper. So this can be pulled out. This one was called Still Life. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like this one. Okay, this one is nothing. It, so I'll pull that. This one is, it got different uh, layers to it, no name to it, but I might pull that out and use that. This was a cover. This was a cover, and then here's the other side of that cover. Um, all right, this one's from 2013. Don't love it. I call this one me and my shadow. <laughs> Same for this one. We'll pull that one to reuse. This one is uh, all the marbles. I really like him. This was from 2011 as well. These are really old ones, but we're going to pull some to reuse. But all the marbles, I love him. I should, I should, I really should frame him. I really like this guy. Hi, Anne. Um, this one was from 2013. I made a print out of that one. This was just, uh, I loved her face in a, in a fashion magazine. No, it wasn't, a fa maybe it was a fashion magazine. Anyway, so I did this um, kind of an effect on her face. This is before I had Procreate. Now I could do all this digitally. <laughs> I did it all with paint though. Let's see, this one too, this one could get cut up. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that one. Same for this, this. I have um, a print of this one hanging up in my house. I love this one. That's from 2012. And uh, this one, I'll just keep my Mona. Here's one I could use. Either side. Either side could be. I'm thinking I could use this one. Um, so, yeah, some of them are oldies. And good morning, Julie Topaz. Julie Topaz has been <laughs> been around since these were originally done <laughs> on Ustream. <laughs> Put it in caps, guys. If you're talking to me, make sure you have top chat clicked and make sure your little settings are in HD. Okay, this one, I'll just leave it. I like this one like it is. Again, look, they're out of journal pages. I mean, they're out of journals. Here's another one of these. Mm, might use that somehow. These were um, stencil. I use stencils. These are like literally the little paper stencils on file folders. Cut those down. Oh, I don't want to use those today, though. I mean, I just don't want to use texture. Here's a little piece of something. We could use that. Mm, mm. Maybe one of these pieces or this piece. So they're just different pieces of journal pages. So if you all have old journals and pages you don't like, just get them out. I don't like that one. And her, I put her together. Cut her down. But I don't, maybe I could use that for something. We'll see. Okay, this one, maybe I could cut that into a couple different ones. Here's an old Poe. Maybe I could use that some kind of a card stock. I'm just kind of going through and picking some of the ones that I want to cut down. I, I don't know who she is. She's a model I've seen in some magazines. It's been a while. I mean, this is old. But I think she's like one of the prettiest women I have ever seen. I just think she's stunning. And I know she has Frida. She has Frida eyebrows here. <laughs> it's probably for the photo shoot. But I just think she is beautiful. And she has, there's some, I have some other ones of her of her full body. And she's just stunning. Oh, I don't, I don't want to cut her up though. Uh, let's see. Here's just a, just a piece of scrapbook paper. And then these are just some different little pieces. Uh, not loving it. I'm just kind of going by what I think I might want to 
use. Here she is again. So, let's see. So these are just, like I said, old journal pages. Cut down, cut up. Maybe I can get us something out of this one. There's that same woman again. Let's see, who else am I missing? Julia, Julia O, Terry Lynn. Hi, Debbie Bruce. I uh, kind of, I always like these latches and things. Mm, maybe, maybe. Oops, let's put that over there then. I'm pulling out the ones that I might want to use. Maybe. And always look at them at all different angles because you can turn them around and see different things. And there's that same woman again. Gave her a hat there, I think. <clears throat> Maybe. So, I'm just going to finish this stack here. Anybody working on anything fun? I do like this. I don't like that too, but I like that. So we'll pull that. I'm pulling way more than we're going to use, right? I just... Just different leftovers. Leftover... Um... journaling pages I always like this one too I love that one to name that one I like that one hi Tina did you I'm sure Tina said good morning way back up here oh sorry you have an inter internet issues Tina Let's see. Dark Woods. Who else am I missing? Um, I think I'll pull that to use. I like this one as is. I like that one as is. This was a two-page spread here. This was a this was a cover, I think. That one. Might cut that one up. Cut that one up. Mm, too much like the other one. So yeah, y'all grab out some old, um, we did this one in 2013, grab out some uh, old art journal pages and we'll uh, play. Like the people ones. I don't, you know, the thing is about people in them. Sometimes I put people in them, you know, but most of the time what I think about is you, the viewer is the person. You're the person. I'm the person. We're looking at it. And um, this was a two-page spread, too, I think. And um, so you're the person in it. That's from 2013. 2013. This is just a picture I took of a peacock at the um, Noah's Ark rescue 
thing. We just did this one now. This one is, we just did this one recently. And I think I just stuck it in here. So some of these I cut down, I think kind of recent. And then these are getting little scraps in here. And then these are just some backgrounds here. So that's really nothing here. And let's see. Like that. All right. So there we go. These are just, uh, it's just a big folio of leftover or uh, old art journal pages. Some I want to keep out as is. These ones that I pulled will cut down. So don't be afraid to take your old art journals and cut out the pages that you might want to redo. And then keep them somewhere. You're all, these are things that you'll always have inspiration for if you do it. Okay, you'll always have something to work on, some kind of inspiration. All right, so these are the ones that we're going to cut down, but I'm going to show you a few, and I know y'all seen these before too. Let's get past. Now, this is one that I just uh, posted on Instagram. So I did this one and finished it from an old journal page. I added more to it and finished it up. And uh, here's another one. I haven't posted this one yet, but I finished this one. And this is the one that I did for William Shatner when he went up in SpaceX. So I did this one last year, posted that one for William Shatner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I posted that on Twitter for him. And uh, he has answered me back once or twice over the years, but he didn't answer me back on this one. So <laughs> I meant it as a compliment, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, these are some different ones. This one could get cut down. These are some of them. These are, all right. So here we go. Here's where I've started some different ones. Now, these are not mounted on white paper. These have not been cut down. These are just this size. <laughs> to create botanical cards for a journal digitally in Photoshop while I watch. Okay, Tommy Joe, that's a good one. I guess everyone got thumb amputations. <laughs> I do appreciate what everybody gives me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And I know that we don't get a lot of comments on the actual video because everybody's talking here. But if you're a lurker, at least give me a thumbs up. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he didn't comment on that one, Dina. So these are some that are in progress. They're just, you know, some different uh, space and undersea things that they're all in progress. None of these are done, you know, and I might cut them down and mount them as a smaller piece. These are just some space starters. And uh, so those are all in progress. This was um, this was in my art in an art journal, as you can see. And it was a double page spread like this, this one. And I cut it out. I, de I deconstructed the art journal. So this made the, this made the cut, but I haven't done anything with it. But look, see, it's got things on the back. But this is the double page spread that looked like that. Um, this is one of our samples where I showed how you can use a color book page piece um, in your collage. So she's out of a color book. Now, and I always tell you all this because I don't want you to accidentally do it. Don't cut her, cut a thing at her or whatever. Don't cut something out of a color book. Put glue it to your collage and then try to color it. If I try to color her while she's glued on here, I'm going to pick up all the texture of anything else I did underneath and she won't be smooth. So make sure you color it, then cut it out. And glue it into your piece. Okay. This is another one. This is a two page. It goes. No, it goes this way. No, it went that way. <clears throat> like that. This was a two page spread in one of my journals. Hi, Angie. 
Anybody else I miss coming in? Thanks everybody for being here. Pull your, find your old art, find your old art journal pages, and uh, we're going to play. All right. So some of these on the top here, I've actually worked some on. So the some of these have got something going with for them. <laughs> Something's going for them. But I keep this stack, so I've always got something to work on. So we've gone from pulling old art journal pages. And cutting them down, and I'll, we'll do that again in a minute. And then just, they're just double-sided tape. So I can take it off of here if I want. It's just double-sided taped onto a piece of, you know, eight and a half by 11 cards. So I don't know, maybe these are a little bigger. This one might be a little bigger. And I did pull eight and a half. I did just pull some card stock here. Yeah, I think these are, this might be nine by uh, 11. But uh, <clears throat> whatever size you want to put them on. So I started on this one. Why well, probably always live so long? And I'll talk about Shat William Shatner. He's a hoot. Y'all follow William Shatner. He is a hoot. Um, so I just have different little space scenes in some of these, and they're all in. They're all works in progress. If I sign them and put them on Instagram, then they're done. <laughs> they're not done until then. Okay, it's going to get, I got to brighten it up. These white papers are going to darken everything. And uh, so some of them can go multiple, multiple ways. Um, this one I worked on, I started painting on this. So that's paint in here. Paint. Same for this one. That's all paint. So it's mixed media. They're all, you know. Don't be afraid to add more paint, more collage, more what, what. <laughs> so this one. And again, all these are old art journal pages that I just didn't like, didn't turn out, what, whatever. So I started redoing them. Started redoing. I started adding a little checkerboard down here. <clears throat> So just whatever little piece or part that you like. And this could go multiple ways too. Whatever piece or part that you like from your art journal page. Then keep that. Thank you, Devin. What? <laughs> and uh, then, you know, if, if you start them and just have different stacks and different stages, then when you don't feel inspired, you don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't have, I don't want to start up from a blank page. Well, you don't have to. Look, you can start from all the pages that you continuously work on. And I know that's hard for some people to leave something and start another thing or work back and forth. Um, but I'm telling you, if you, if you can make yourself do that, you will, um, you'll, you'll always have something to work on. So you'll always have something different to work on. Here's one of my, um, dinosaur bone ones. I saw I <laughs> painted that, painted the little rock ledge there. And of course, all the stars and the space and, you know, so I love this. This is really wrinkled from when, I don't know what I did when I worked on it. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention or something. That one's kind of really wrinkled, but I really love this composition. I love this. <laughs> the bow of the ship is this pen nib. I, I love that. So. <clears throat> Again, just different space and different undersea space oh and speaking of undersea i do want to use this try to remember use this sticker book because i have it and i forget it this atlantis sticker book the deep blue sea one i really want to remember to use this so i'm going to pull it out here and maybe use it and then there's got all these sea quotes in it like here's a jules verne quote and I really like to write down all those quotes in an, in my quote book, one of my quote books. So, but anyway, um, you can get this on Amazon. There's many, there's multiple different ones of these um, sticker galleries. 
And uh, I also saw them at my books a million. So they're out in the bookstores too. I'll give you the ISBN for this one just in case. And if you find this one on Amazon, you'll find all the others. Okay. This one is 978-1250-279-354. So if you find, and, and this one has, I think it's like most of the pages. Yeah, they have a sheen to them. They're not high gloss, but they're semi gloss. But there's a quote on every other one. And uh, the other thing nice about these kind of sticker books is after you use the sticker books, you still have this backing paper. So you can use it in a couple of ways. You can use it as a sticker book again. So let's all the let's say all these stickers are gone and you have this your this page, this main sticker page is is done. Let me see if I can get a start here. Maybe, maybe I can get it. Probably easier if I take a sticker off and then go this way. Hang on. So then you have this whole sheet. This whole sheet is in the back. And then so you can take off all this excess sticker paper and you can use the book again to keep other stickers in or make an art journal out of it. <clears throat> Either way. So, yeah, I do. I'm going to try to use some of these today. We'll see. But I did pull. I wanted to pull it. All right, so let me keep going here. So, hi, Juanita. She spins, i.e. little foot. <laughs> so get some old journal pages out. <clears throat> I put this one in my Procreate to play with. I, I had some, let me see. Let me go grab my iPad. I'll show you a couple. Procreate. I don't know how much I've done on it. Let me see here. Uh, where is it? You know what? I, okay, here it is. So I'll show you what I've kind of worked on a little bit, not too much on it. Let's turn it. Hang on. I got some messages coming in that's blocking. All right, turn it so you can get a full. So I went into Procreate and I added more stars and I added these little flowerettes <laughs> these little florets so I added a few like details to it so I don't know you probably may not be able to tell but here's the original let's get the glare off there we go so you see that look at the stars uh, the, the white that I did with the paint at the top of the stars well, inst instead, I made it into these stars like that. So really played up, played it up <laughs> in my, uh, that's the end. You can take your old art journal pages and if you have an I, you know, iPad and do Procreate. Um, I'll show you a couple others. Now, I don't know that I, we're going to come across these uh, pages, but... Um, Let's see. Here's one of the ones that I did with the B. Y'all might remember seeing this art journal page. But I put that in Procreate. Let's see. What else? Um, this one. This one was from my uh, abandoned books. And it's a double page spread in abandoned in one of my abandoned books. Well, I wanted it one page, so I put it in Procreate, and I got rid of the seam, and just kind of played a little bit in there, and turned it into. And I did this edging on purpose just to see what it would look like, kind of a, you know, rough edge like that. <clears throat> Um, same thing for this one. This one was a abandoned book page. Put that in Procreate. Thank you, Becky. 
Let's see. And then my circus page, <clears throat> put that in Procreate. This was in one of my abandoned books as well. Um, all right, so there we go. Just so y'all can see, you can go into Procreate and play. <coughs> Let me get a sip of my G of water, my lemon water. Okay, let's keep rolling here. I got this one going this way. So I'm just going to kind of flip through them real quick. Again, they're all old pages. Well, not all of them. Some of them I took from um, like the space things. They may not have been old. Some of them, those, some of those might not have been old pages. This one was old pages, I think. And then this one, um, I'm still working on my time forest. Uh oh, I'm pulling off some of the, I'm pulling off my time. <laughs> if I'm working in this one, it's going to be a time forest. <clears throat> So then this one, so just different, uh, different pieces and parts of different art journals, and they're all in different stages. So I always have something to play with, always have something to work on, to play with. I know I'm going fast and I'm probably not even zoomed in enough. If y'all have any questions, put it in, put it, takes me to the real force. So, so as you can see, there are different pieces in different stages. So get out some old journals and I'll, sh oh, I got to get my uh, black cardstock to make a frame. Show y'all how to zero in on parts that you might like or not like. We worked on this one, I think, a few, well, I say a couple weeks. It's probably been two or three months, but time just goes by. Oh, we just worked on this a couple weeks ago. It's probably been about two or three months. <laughs> uh, but they're all just, they're just double-sided taped down to a piece of, of uh, white paper. Okay, so there we go. Let me put this back this away. Because these are the ones I was working on the most. So let's put those back on top. All right. And again, this is just another one of my, uh, you know, made me a, like a folder out of chipboard, covered it. You know, this is just uh, another piece of chipboard covered with fabric. And uh, just to keep them all in. So look, I got all these and I got all these. And this isn't even the journals that I haven't deconstructed. So I always have <clears throat> something to work on. So there we go. <clears throat> all right, another sip of juice. Well, I keep want to say juice, but it's lemon water. Okay, so now a couple different things. So I'm going to get out my cutter. And you don't have to have one of these cutters. You can cut it with just scissors. But I do need to get a piece of black. Here we go. It's up here. Hang on. <clears throat> and this is good not just for this project, but any project that you want to make yourself a viewfinder. This is good for outside, inside, whatever. And um, I'll just cut it down with scissors because it's easier. So you can just make yourself a, I got two pieces of cardstock here. And I'm making an, just make a giant L. And you can still use this. All right, so you got you a giant L. You can make it smaller too, but I'm just making it big so that we can have it any size. You got an L, right? So you see how you can make you a viewfinder? Okay, so you can be outside, you can be just 
doing it with our pieces here. So what you do is you put it on your piece and you decide what do I like? I like that right there. But do I like it? You got to have a little room here. You use a full 12 by 12. Um, do I like this? Do I like it right there? I kind of like that right there. Got this little girl here. Let's see. Let me turn down the light again or turn down the brightness. I went from white paper to black paper. Hi, Beth. And... Uh, let me just get a white pencil here. Get one of my pencils, this charcoal pencil. I haven't used this one yet. This is what uh, uh, came in my Keisha black and white box. So it's like a charcoal pencil. So it'll work. All right, so here we go. So, But make sure, you know, you look around and see if that's what you want. Like here I've got this way. I've got her little face peeking out. doesn't even have to have her there. I could just forego her and go to this. But you see how you just kind of move it around and decide. Oh, still too flashed out. Hang on, guys. Still too flashed out. There we go. The sun's really bright, too, today. <clears throat> Are you taking it a little easier? Oh, oh, you're talking to Joey. Sorry. And hi, CB. I thought you were talking to me. Uh, hi, Dolly. All right. So do I like that? Do I like I think I actually like this better. I like this right up here. How far out do I want to make it? So you can just kind of decide. And you can also tilt it and twist it however you want. All right. So just find the area that you like. Maybe right there, maybe a little over, kind of like that. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of lightly, and this is just a chalk pencil, so it'll erase. You can do whatever, depending on if you have a light, <clears throat> light or dark background, you could just use a regular pencil. Okay, so I can see enough of it there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and cut this down. Let's just maybe save the little girl. Maybe I'll use her on something else. And then just trim it down. To this. And you can, you know, you look at it, you study, and go, well, maybe it needs a little bit more trim, you know. And then you might use, I don't keep these, but you might use some of these in another piece. <clears throat> so we have this little girl here. Maybe I could save some of her, you know, just to show you. We'll just get rid of some of the sides here, maybe. Maybe a little bit of the bottom. She's very centered here, but you don't have to leave it like that. You know, when you put it, you can add more things to it. But I like the little path back here. And uh, so we'll, we'll put her on a paper. We'll put her on a page. And then the same thing for these. So let's look at these. I like this with the little trees. Not particularly fond of this right here. But I do like the little trees. I like this one too. I don't necessarily. Oh, this is one we just cut. Okay, where's the other one? There's another piece here somewhere. I threw it away. <laughs> so um, this is the one we just cut. But I'm not sure I like that so much. Okay. So we have we have those three out of a out of one journal. I don't know that I'll use all of them, but I just want you to see your options. Yeah, I guess I could put her in my Asian journal, couldn't I? The only thing is that she's on a couple of layers. It's kind of cardstock, and I'm trying not to put anything too thick in my journals because I don't want to get them too bulked up. I'm trying to keep them thin, you know. So um, yeah. So she probably won't she probably won't make the journal cut. <laughs> all right so let's pick a couple more all right so this one i'm just going to kind of roll with it as is and again when you cut your journal pages down after you cut them look at them different ways you might want it this way you might want it this way i kind of like that but i love this the best you see all right, so let's see. Let's see this little girl's here. I think I've already cut this one down, 
as an example. See the little ladies riding the bikes back there and the little girls. All right, so let's look at this one. And just take your time, you know, take your time, take your viewfinder. Every time I move this, it's going to change the lighting. Uh, but take your viewfinder and just kind of move it around. So, you know, and take your time. I, I know I'm kind of rushing it because I want to, you know, give you all lots of options here. But like that, I really like that rule right there. So I might just put... Like that. So, you know, look around. Maybe something else down here catches your eye instead. I really like that, though. I think I need to trim my viewfinder down just a little. It's a little big. It's a little unwieldy on the camera, so I'm going to cut it down just a little. <clears throat> All right. So now, cut this down. Be a little bit more. right I dot so let's make a few of these and then we'll go to um, do I like this maybe maybe not I kind of like the little flower growing there do I like it going this way yeah, I'm not loving it I, I just don't think I'll use it so you don't have to keep everything all right so now let's go back to the viewfinder and let's go ahead and do three or four at a time here so I can work on, I'll have to keep shuffling. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We got this bird and a watch, but I also have these mountains. Do I like those better? You know, just kind of. Maybe like this. See how you can kind of decide you want that much. Just want a little bit of it. Kind of like, like maybe a little taller on this one. Kind of like that. Kind of like that right there. Hi, hi, preppy crafty girl Donna. How you doing, sister woman? Okay, let's go to the next one. We're just using up old journal pages. And see, I had it going this way at one time, but I'm looking at it at different angles. Because I'm kind of liking this right here. Maybe a little over. Maybe that right there. I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to mark it with this chalk. And we'll go cut it in a minute. All right, let's see. Mm, eh, I'm going to pass on that one. This one's already been cut down. I'm going to pass on that one today. Pass on that one. Maybe kind of like this. Not sure what I'd want to do with this one yet. I'm going to pass on that. A turtle could put him flying. I'm gonna pass on the turtle. There's just a let's see what we can do here. Maybe I want that straighter. I'm gonna pass on this one. This one's already been cut down. So we'll just keep that one as is. Alright, so I'm passing on these. Put those down there on the floor. Alright, let's get a few more here. <clears throat> I need to add more paint to my journal pages. Well, you can do it before or after. You can do it, you know, while they're in your journal. If you decide you want to, um, you like an element of it, then pick the element you like. And then you can always add more paint later. 
I'm not loving this one in any form. So I'm going to move that one. <clears throat> but having a viewfinder, can you see how this helps? Can you see how this helps you find? It could be anything. You could turn it into an artist trading card. You could cut it down to an ATC size. You know, I'm just mounting them in my, uh, on the blank papers. But you can do it uh, any way you want. And also, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of marking it because this will make it crooked if you try to, you know, you want to, you want to cut it with uh, something that you're going to, a ruler, you know, like Janet uses. One of those things, <laughs> if you want it straight. So I'm just kind of doing the corners, and then I'll, I'll, met, I'll, you know, um, size it, not size it up, but you know, form it up straight. <laughs> Hi, Hut. How you doing? We're taking old art journal pages and picking out parts we like to reuse. So I like that right there. So I'm just gonna mark that. Okay. But it's just hand so handy to ha make yourself a viewfinder and just go around different angles, different parts that you might like. No, I'm gonna forgo on this one, not feeling it. Let's see, let's go to this one. Not feeling that one. Here's my Poe. There's a little a little Poe with a pen. Kind of like <clears throat> kind of like to that right there. Can you see my mark there? We'll cut them all at, at one time. <clears throat> I'm good. How's Bubbly Edna? <laughs> if y'all don't know, let me click on Hut. He is working on a comic that will, uh, he's going to crowdfund it, I think, and this sometime this month, right, Hot? Going to crowdfund it this month. So um, I will be backing it. And when, once he, uh, I'll give you all, all the information about it once he, uh, once he kickstarts it. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to supporting that project, Hut. If you don't follow the comic book, Hut. Um, there's his comic book hut, follow him. And, uh, he's, he shows some of his pages, some of his progress. <clears throat> and, um, oh wait, which way am I going here? Sorry guys. <laughs> this needs to go this way. Um, follow him to see where 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 he at is in his progress and uh yeah i'll be backing it when it comes out all right let's see i think i'll go with this Just, i like that little it almost looks like a person standing out off the on the edge there. I think I'll go a little more there. Okay. All right. No. No. Not today. Let's see. Not today. No. No. Owl. Maybe. Let's see what we got here. Thank you, Tina. There's Hutt's channel, and you can watch him um, do some of his inking, sketching, planning <laughs> on his channel, too. Hi, hi, Dan. How you doing? Come by and see Bob. I cannot do Bubbly Edna. I wish I could. If I had a New York accent, I could probably do bu Bubbly Edna. <laughs> I can hear her in my head, Hut. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Can I cut a little bit of that off? Maybe that. 
So can you look, see how I'm talking about? Look, here's the whole thing. But look how isolating different areas, how it just brings it to more to life. It does, in my opinion, anyway, like that. So I'm liking that right there. So I'm just going to mark some chalk marks here where I want to cut that. All right, let's do a few more. I'm almost, oh, I'm getting there. Let's see what else I want to do. No, not these today. Because we're not, there's no way we're working on all of these. I just want to give y'all all the different ways to um, <clears throat> use your old journal pages, right? And I'm not usually one to like things in the corner like that. So I can either get rid of it. And I can always paint things out. You can always get rid of things. Maybe just the glow right there might be enough. Or do I want that whole little section there? Get rid of it. Maybe bring that up there. See how you can pick and choose what you want like this? Is this helpful to you guys? <clears throat> All right, we're going to cut that one down. <clears throat> and I know some of y'all probably go, oh, no, no, wait, wait, go back, go back. I like that other section better because <laughs> that's what I would be doing. <laughs> I go, no, 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 you missed it. It was right over here. No, not there, over here. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I would be doing. I would be doing the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right, a couple more, and then we'll start cutting them down. All right, I kind of like this one because I like the way the three are right there. So I think I'll just leave that one for now. And, hmm, 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 maybe. Might be some possibility down here. <laughs> uh, let's see, Tracy, Patricia. I like that. All right, let's just kind of. <clears throat> and I'll forgo this piece of paper. All right, so now we have a stack to cut down. These we've already cut down. So we can just kind of do it all at once rather than back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <clears throat> lemon water. Julianne, anybody else? Okay, so let's see. So I want to cut. And I'll keep this. I might use it for something else. But right now, I'm just going to throw it behind me on the stack. I'm just eyeballing the my little chalk marks, and then you know you can just wipe it off, and then look and see if there's anything you want to keep. Maybe oh, I might use this on something. I know I won't use those, so don't keep every little scrap. Just saying. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut down every place that I've marked <coughs> with the viewfinder. Like this, don't like these. All right, let's see here. And after you cut it, you can always, you know, look at it and say, well, maybe I need a little bit more shaved off of a certain area. 
like do I want to shade that down just a little mm, I'll leave it for now but I, I do kind of want to I kind of want to shave a little off the bottom there. Okay. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Denise would be so proud of you. Throw well, I throw away more than you think, guys. I really do. Don't let Denise fool you that I throw away nothing. I do throw things away. <laughs> I do. I do throw things away. And see, oh, the other thing is, is what's with the viewfinder. See, these. this is where I wanted it to cut. So it's going to be even at an angle. But, you know, at the end of the day, make sure your little piece is, it's better to have it squared up. You know, it is better to have it a little square, but you can, you can play with the uh, marks you made. Keep rolling here. What did I have on this? Where did I have this one marked? I don't even see it. Did I? Oh, there it is. I just have that one, like the guy in the corner. That. All right. Let's see. I'm going to cut that down. So we're at the top. <clears throat> I might keep her for another day. All the rest of this, no. I like the owl too. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, that's the thing. Once you um, once you use your viewfinder, you find the. It, it just makes all the difference. You think you like your piece, but then when you take your viewfinder and go around it you go oh man i really like that it's so much better isolated you know but you don't see that unless you put a viewfinder around it all right let's see what here we got my poe let's trim poe So I want you to see, you know, before I cut, some of these have multi-layers, so I have to kind of chop through. <laughs> and I do kind of like this one, too. It could go a couple ways. I kind of like it that way. All right, we'll save both those two pieces. All right, so anybody got out some of their old art journals and working along? If not, take note so you uh, you know remember to you remember to do these things because I'm telling you, you you you're gonna like your work a lot more than you think once you isolate it and cut it down. You think, you know, oh, I, I kind of like this part, but this part didn't work. I don't know what I don't like about it. Gentry Viewfinder, and you'll find some part of it that you like. I can almost guarantee you. But you have to be brave. You have to be brave and cut it down. Mark, how you doing? You're recovering. I heard that you were, I don't like to talk about people's sicknesses. I mean, you're free to, but I'm glad you're uh, on the mend. I'm glad you're on the mend, Mark. Uh, when I heard about you, I was worried. I was worried about you. I didn't have any way to get in touch with you. I mean, I have your address. Well, I have your old address. I don't know if you even still live there anymore. But, uh, I was uh, I was concerned about you. I hope you I hope you're all right now or getting better. Let me trim a little bit more off that top. I gotta like that better. Okay, so we cut down all the ones we selected from our big stacks of old art journal pages. So let's remove this. 
Let's see where Mark go. Where is he? Hmm. How are you, Mark? You're recovering. I haven't seen you say anything else. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> I want no damage, but yes, still on that address. Okay. All right, Mark. I'll have to send you something. <clears throat> now that I know. Let me get my pen here. Where's my, my post-its? Okay. All right, Mark. Okay, so now... <clears throat> We have all these, and let me get some cardstock here. Oh, there goes the white again. Bring in that white paper, and there you go. Let's brighten it back up. And once we go to the black paper, it'll get <laughs> flashed out. Okay, so I have some of this, and... Again, I'm just going to pull out, let's see here, let me just pull out like a quick, a quick handful. Um, and this is this, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to uh, just double side tape down. This is what I've worked on. We're going to double side tape the pieces that we just cut down onto some white cardstock. Okay. I'm just pulling out a few here just to show some of the ways that we cut. See, it doesn't have to be square. It doesn't have to, it can be any size. But when you stick it on a piece of white paper like this, you could just, it kind of frames it. You can see, you can see it all better. Here's the one that I just finished and posted on Instagram a few days ago. I yeah, I almost want to say it was just day before yesterday, but it was like last weekend or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just posted this one. So what you can do now is after you tape it down on a piece of cardstock, and again, put it on a piece of just cheap cardstock, old, you know, back of a sketchbook paper, whatever, because... For one thing, while you're working on it, you might get um, you might get paint or something on this. So what you just want to do is just double side tape it so that it's not permanent. That way, if you mess up all your background, you can take it off to here and put it on a fresh one later. All right. So I'm just going to put you know double sided tape in each corner, just a little just a little bit, just to hold it in place. And then just decide where you want it. You can measure if you want, Janet. <laughs> I kind of eyeball it, but you can measure it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, now you're, you're ready to work on this one. All right. So I'm just going to do this with all of them. It's going to just take me a minute. And I'll, I'll watch chat while I'm doing this. So if y'all got any chit chat y'all want to talk about while I'm doing this, just say it now while I'm paying attention. You can either put it high and a couple different things you can do with it. So if you put it up like this, uh, it just gives it a different kind of a nice museum kind of quality. And it also gives you room to write. So if you want to punch holes in this, put it in a, in a three ring binder or just in one of those folios uh, like you saw the other ones that I have already made up. Uh, or you can just put it in the middle and just, you know, call it a day. But if you want to make a story, then kind of give yourself some room to write down here. You could put some words, some title, and we're going to work in this in a minute. Um, but now if you want to make a story about it, does these have an Instagram page for plant? Page for plant? She has Instagram. Yeah. She is planner.rookie. Planner.rookie is my daughter Denise's uh, Instagram. Okay, y'all follow her. Make her feel like she's, you know, she, <laughs> she only has a few page, a few posts. She only has a few planner posts because she's a rookie. <laughs> 
if you just start it. Um, so if you want to, um, and if you don't want to do this now, write the idea down, write it in your um, Society of Idea Collector notebook or just on a post-it note for now. So <clears throat> maybe we'll put a word here and do a little something, something with it. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to quickly go through these and put a couple pieces of double-sided tape and then just look at it, see which way you like it, which way do you want it to go. Kind of like it this way. And again, regardless of the size of this, just, you know, put it on a, on a big sheet of paper and, uh, now you can either have room to work on it or write a story or just journal. It could just be a journal page. Thank you. Thank you, Jonna. It could just be a, your own journal page. It doesn't even have to be a story about the piece. It could just be a, a decorative element for your, um, it could just be a decorative element for your, um, for your journal. And again, you can use, put, just glue these in. <clears throat> In your uh, other art journal, after you've cut them down and you already have an, an art journal or planner you're working in, and after you've cut them down, then put this in that book. You don't have to necessarily start a new one. I just start new pages, but I can put these pages wherever I want. <clears throat> I'll put this one a little more centered. <coughs> Let me get a sip of water. Put it in caps if y'all are talking to me. So I see, here's that little Poe. But you'll, you know, you put it anywhere you want. You can, I uh, hope you're getting inspired to reuse your old pages. Let's see, I'll put this one up here. <clears throat> I like this owl. Hi, Lady True North, Lady Jan. How you doing? And then um, if you're not using them in your journal pages and just as either decorations or writing a story, then you start making a new story on your new pages that you've cut down. Now it's a new journal. It's a new journal page. And then the next thing we're going to do is start looking through our collage fodder, either magazine images or whatever you have for your collage fodder. And um, we're going to pick some images. And we're just going to kind of randomly play around, make, you know, make up some stories as we go. <clears throat> Oops, I think I picked up two there. And you just put two or three little pieces of tape. Doesn't have to be, you know, you just kind of want to tack it down. So in case you do decide to move it. This one was a cardstock. I probably should put a little bit more on that one. This piece is a cardstock. Because some of these have, were double, um, double sided. I did double sided art journal pages, so they're extra thick. Let's see, let's get it up together here. Give me the my oh, thank you, Rachel. And then we will read our uh, we'll read out of our inspiration books and maybe work in the um, what's it called again the uh, where it go three hundred sixty five days of art book maybe we'll work in that too. Let's see. Yeah, Tori's back. 
Tori is back. This one would have to go this way. Most of my pieces are portrait format, but I do have a few landscape ones like the space ones and some of the others. But there we go. And we go back and you can paint out on them. And again, if you get paint on the piece, you know, then you can just flip it over, you know, flip it up. If you get paint on this side, peel it off, flip it over and re-glue your or re-tape your piece on the other side. <clears throat> or just be careful. Just be careful not to, you know, depending on what, depending on the piece, you know, it's all going to depend on um, what, what it is. I want this one in the middle. And just a few more here. But this is a way to use up. Use up your old um, art journal pages that you don't like. Don't be afraid to take them out. Oops. Don't be afraid to take out um, pages out of your old art journals. All right, just uh, two or three more here. And you can get these 100, a pack of 100 cardstock at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They always have them on sale, 50% off. You can get them for 3 or $4 <coughs> for 100 sheets. So, all right, one more here. All right, there's a little girl in the garden. Get that tape around the side there. Oh, she is a little crooked. That one, <laughs> I did get that one a little crooked, but I think it might need to be trimmed up, actually. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and make our stack of these. And I'm going to paint on this. And we've got all these here with the cardstock. Done with that. Make some space over here on the corner. Okay. All right, now we can turn the light back down again. <laughs> there we go. Geez, speaking of paper, that jelly print you thought was on wallpaper, linen finish. Okay, from the papers. Okay, the one that I used in my book. I, I love that. It was really cool. It was really cool, Devin. I really liked all that you sent me. I used a lot of it. And I have an envelope in the back for the rest. So, let's see. I'm going to sip up water here. Use some of these tapes. Make some space. All right, now let's just take a moment, uh, uh, let's take a silly moment. <laughs> can I resist? Okay, so I think I might start with this because I, I can paint on it. Although, you know, maybe not. Maybe we should start with some collage fodder and words. Because I, I don't usually use words in mine, my, my uh, 
my pages either, but I know a lot of people do, especially if you're reusing, especially if you're reusing uh, this in your art journals and you're going to journal. So I'll probably do a couple with maybe some words cut out of an old kid's book. Plus, you know, I got these stickers here I pulled, my uh, undersea stickers, and they have quotes. Maybe we'll put a quote on one um, with the maybe brush lettering. can do that. Let's see. Let me, let me quickly find a quote I like, so I'm not looking for that. <laughs> I can't help but I love that. All right, let me kind of flip through here. While I'm flipping through the book, I'll kind of read a couple of quotes. Okay, that's a good one. Just a couple. But I love this book. Oh, now I got the hiccups from drinking that water so fast. There's a Van Gogh quote. Okay. That one might do. Okay, so I got a couple of quotes picked out. We're only going to do one or two. Just to, all right. Then I pulled all these different collage elements from some of the books. Okay, so I think I want to paint on this one. I'm not going to paint on all of them because obviously we don't have time for that. But I thought if you wanted just to show how you can make a little story. You know, just, you know, you, if you're not sure what to do or you don't know where to go next, you're, if you don't know what to put in your art journal, well, then, you know, go just go through your collage fodder and pick one thing. Like, let's pick a dinosaur. Uh, pick one thing or, you know, it could be two or three, but I'm just saying you could pick some uh, a focal point because you're not sure what you want to do. What book is this? This one, this, this one, the Atlantis Sticker Studio. And you can get them on, uh, there's a whole bunch of different series. You Just look on Amazon for Sticker Studio Atlantis. I already gave the ISBN, so I'm not going to do it again. So, all right, let's see here. What do I want to do? Kind of like this little T-Rex. <laughs> That's that's one of these, isn't it? Uh, I can't say I'm I'm well aware of my dinosaurs, but I do want one that's going to stand out. I want I mean I want him to show up a little bit. Maybe just this guy here. Maybe just a little bit in the foreground. And it could be anything you like. It could be cats. It could be you know it just could be anything. I'm just kind of because I'm going to paint on this, so I just kind of want to. Um, pick something and so and when I go to work on it I will zoom in a little more so I'm just going to fussy cut them out none of this is planned and I know don't email me people go why don't you plan that out why don't you uh, you know have a step out I just don't work that way I don't work that. It's just like when I do color books I don't tell you oh this number color pencil now pick up number so and so and shade the I don't do it. Sorry. A lot of people that do. So if you want step outs and step by step tutorials, not me. I'm just I mean it's not me. I don't do that. I mean I have a few times, but uh, I just like to I like to wing it. We're gonna wing it. <clears throat> Yeah, Devin, Triceratops. <laughs> and if you're going to paint them in, you know, you can always just kind of fussy tear it if you're going to use paint around it. But I kind of just want to show you how you can move it around. So I'm going to probably use it on this page, but I'm going to show you by going through the other pages. When you pick an, when you pick an element, you have a whole stack of your old art journal pages already cut out already mounted on a piece of white paper, then you can, uh, you know, test it out. Just move it around on different ones. Say, oh, I like it on there. Maybe not on this one. Maybe not on that one. So let's just get this little guy cut out. Like I'm thinking he may be too dark for this, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> so 
See, he, he needs to kind of be over here, but it's too dark. So, because he gets lost. Yeah, he gets a little lost in there. I mean, I could lighten it up around him. But do I want to go to all that trouble? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, so I'm just going to take my pages and we're just going to do this for a second. Then I'll go back and cut some more. All right, well, obviously, I well, not obviously. I mean, I guess he could be... <laughs> I should have cut out a lighter one so it'll show up a little. But I mean he could be um he could be holding the dino in the in his claws. And also I've done it a few times where you could have them going off the page. You could have them going off the page. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, you know, he could be hanging on by his tail. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get, let me get, let me get a couple things cut out so we can kind of shuffle them around as we do it. Cause this guy's not going to show up very well. Let's just pick something here and there. Let's pick some, let's pick one thing off of each page. What do I want off of this page? Um, what do I want? I kind of like the cone. Just saying, I like the cone. <clears throat> There's a street lamp. The cone and the uh, dinosaur might be good. We'll use the cone and the dinosaur together. <laughs> and plus, I want to, if I have anything that's sea worthy, I want to put, um, I'll go through that sea sticker book and pick some out of that too. Let's see. All right, let's brighten this up again. The light, the light fluctuates, so I gotta keep it, keep it. There we go. All right, <clears throat> let's look over here. I kind of like her because she's all in yellow and she'd really stand out. So would she. I'll just go and go with her. Although I really like him, and I like the samurai. But I'm, I want to just go with one off of each page. So we're going to spend a couple minutes fussy cutting. All right. So has anybody, has anybody tried this? Is trying it? Going to try it? <laughs> how, or let me ask this. How many of y'all have old journals that could get cut up? Raise your hand. How many of you have old journals that could be cut up. <clears throat> Hi, Nettie. Miranda, I know I'm missing people coming in. What is that? Is that her hand holding? What is she holding there? Is this some kind of a drum or something? I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to just keep her hand... I'm going to get rid of the drum or whatever that is. You don't have to, you can always decide what parts of uh, images you like. You don't have to keep them all. Just saying. Nettie's raising her hand. <laughs> Do y'all think this is fun? Is this a good idea? Do y'all like it? So you see what, and we're going to shuffle things around so you can see it in different ways, different, different uh, ways of using your images. All right, let's see. We already did the dinosaur. Do I want a different dinosaur? Don't know. Nah. All right, we've got one dinosaur. Okay, let's look over on the amphibians. Hi, Darlene. It's fun to watch. Oh, thanks, Pacola, my little snapdragon. Um, I like that. I like him. Let's go with this big. Uh, toad looking right at us. Well, I kind of like that little green one, too. Maybe we'll do two here.
And again, you know, just if you don't have access to collage books, you know, um, get old books, magazines, cut your image out, just move it around from piece to piece and see where you like it. Um, and if you really want to be inspired and get more ideas, then write a story about it underneath. What's going on in that picture in your mind? You know, <clears throat> you don't have any old art journals. Do you don't art journal, Teresa? Or you just don't have any you'd want to tear up? I understand a lot of people like their art journals as they are. They don't want to tear them up. This is just another option. Giving you options. We like different uh, options. <laughs> That's what we like. The Society of Idea Collectors. All different kinds of ideas. If you're not inspired watching something on my channel, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Hi, Colleen. Colleen streams uh, tomorrow. Well, yeah, she streams on her channel tomorrow. Kath, they stream, Kathy Berg and her stream together on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They moved uh, from Friday to Thursday. So, Scrap Chick Colleen. I want to, if um, Pacola or one of the mods want to put in her link. She streams tomorrow about 10.30. 10, 10, 10.30 in Eastern. Just cutting out this little frog here. All right, there's a couple frogs. Let's see the next. Oh, look, look, we, we have to cut this out, Colleen. Uh, okay, oh, I did have, um, they do, um, they do, uh, different projects. Hang on, I'm going to sneeze. They do different projects, um, on old, uh, flashcards out of the prompt book. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was going to work. I'll tell you, you want me to tell you my plan. I, I didn't do it, Colleen, because I, I looked. I did look, but I didn't want to take all day to look. <laughs> so, but I had a thing in my head to, to play along with you guys in the. Uh, let's see, the, the prompts were fuchsia. I think it was fuchsia or magenta. It was a bright pink. Weather like you know stormy weather it was weather and what was the what was the third one weather oh and clothes so my idea was i'm just i'm just trying to think of something to talk about while i'm just finishing fussy cutting um was to take my little mini i still have them sitting here my, one of my little mini i was going to use my little mini <laughs> flash card and I actually have two of them so I had two little flash cards here and what I wanted to do was I'll sketch it for you because I, I didn't do it uh, I was a slacker I couldn't find so what I wanted to do was um though you know those little paper umbrellas that you put on drinks they open up the little paper umbrellas right well what I was going to do is have one of those little paper umbrellas and have it um, on a in a on a straw. Okay, I was going to stick the umbrella in a straw. Okay, I was going to have these little one. I didn't know if I wanted one or two of them, kind of like as a base, like a floor, right? This was going to be a three dimensional. It wasn't going to be flat. It was going to be a dimensional one because this is you know a, an umbrella, right? One of those uh, paper umbrellas with the little stick stuck in a straw and then I was going to have a little girl a little paper doll you know a little girl and she was going to be holding on to the straw she was going to be wearing a raincoat a fuchsia raincoat a fuchsia raincoat because 
it was closed. And then what I was going to do is have on either string or thin wire, I was going to bead, I was going to put little beads to look like rain hanging off, hanging off the umbrella edges all the way around. And then what you could do is I could take the straw and do this and the beads would fly, you know, I mean, they're attached, right? But the umbrella would spin, she would spin and the little bead things would kind of fly out. So it looked like, it looked like rain. <laughs> so this was my plan. Uh, a little three dimensional girl standing on the flashcards with a straw holding onto the umbrella in a fuchsia raincoat with the real one of those little drink umbrellas with beads hanging off a string so that when you twisted the uh, straw, those little things would fly out and it would look like rain. But here was my problem. I could not find my little paper umbrellas anywhere. I went through, I don't know, I can't tell you how many drawers, 10 different drawers looking for my little, I know I got some. I know I have some, those little paper umbrellas. Couldn't find it. So I said, okay, I'm just going to go back and lurk. <laughs> going back to lurking. So I didn't do it, but that, that was my, that was my, uh, that was my ambition. That was my ambition uh, for y'all's project, Colleen. I like the I like those prompts. I thought they were fun prompts, but I couldn't find my little paper umbrella. Okay, so here's my little chicken. All right, so what's the next one? What do we have here? That was a frog one. Let's see what else do I have here. Oh, I have this little cat. So if y'all are just joining me, I'm fussy cutting out some different collage elements to test out on my uh, repurposed old art pages. That we're repurposing. So, yeah. <laughs> I know. And I'm pretty good about knowing where things are. But um, a little on paper umbrella, that could be in a, diff a lot of different places. And I just couldn't find it. That little cat... All right, let's see. Here's a um, little space shuttle. Well, I like this one here. This one with the astronaut. Like a Gemini or something. So we're going to cut him out. To got there. I'm not sure what that, how that's going around there. All right, there we go for that. What else? I got a ship. Let's use this sailboat. It's an airplane too, but we'll just go with one thing off of each page. Let's see, Regina. I'm probably missing people. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out while we fussy cut. <laughs> it's not exactly riveting, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to get some ideas here. You got to do, do this stuff, too. So if you like working in art journals or just taking some bits of old art journal and turning it into something... We'll put a quote or, you know, you could do a story. All right, let's see. I want a watch or two. Y'all know I love me some uh, elements of time. This one's pretty bright. I don't know what I'll use this one on, but I think I'll go ahead and fussy cut around all the little knobs as well. Sometimes I just use the face of the watch. But if you use the face of a watch especially something like bright and colorful like this, then you could use the outer edge as a, a portal or a hole or a place, you know, you can use it as an arch. So you could use the edge too, but I like those colors. Don't know, i got to cut that out. Okay, so we got that. 
Hi, Judy. Oh, thank you, Lady Jan. Thank you for the bean juice. <laughs> oh, bail fun after money on the bar. After many umbrellas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> for their mini umbrellas good one jan thank you so much thanks for the super chat <laughs> here's another one that's colorful okay then we got this little girl and this is from katherine anderson's book uh one of her i think this is the vintage the little girl i'm not going to use her she's kind of big for everything we picked same for this watch got watches okay let's get a fish maybe oh come back here Oh, there's that there's that cloud we cut out on another project. Okay, let's see. Let's uh do I want to fish? Maybe this one here. And Katherine Anderson has awesome collage books, guys. She has doors, windows, um, vintage. So if you want something a little bit more uh, specific in your uh, material collage material then look at Katherine Anderson's books on uh, Amazon they're really they're, they're packed full of all kinds of goodies windows what ones am I missing Colleen Colleen has them all as well so she knows And don't forget, you can um, go back on your pages and paint them, use Poscas, pencils, you know, whatever you want. Let's see. Hi, Songbird. Julie, did I say hi to you, Julie, or did I miss saying hi to you? You're, when, when I see you, I think, oh, have I said hi to Julie? I always say hi to Julie, but I might have missed you. Here's a bunch of shells. We'll just kind of set that aside. Here's another big shell, even bigger shell. This is a Katherine Anderson one. Now, let's see. This is out of that uh, collage, um, that pink collage book. Let's pick a butterfly or two. Let's pick this one. And I'm picking it because it's a brighter color and I think it'll stand out on something. And maybe this one right here, a little bigger. Okay. She, she has kaleidoscope. Okay, I don't have the kaleidoscope one. I bet that's good. Is it like a fractal kind of look? I have some fractal papers. All right, let's see. Always move the piece you're cutting, not your scissors. See how my hand, this hand's hardly moving at all. Every, everything's done with moving the paper. Then you'll get a nice clean cut that way. You can get in the details. Okay, there's a butterfly. Let's cut this little one down. And like their little antenna, I don't cut around the antenna. I just draw that back in with a pen. So yeah. Did anybody watch Oak Island last night? John did a John did his pre-show and then tonight he and Judy will do a wrap up of uh, the season. It was the last of the season. Let's see, do I want this turtle? Maybe this little mouse. Let's see. Pick this little mouse. Oh, thank you. Aw, thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much for the umbrella fun. <laughs> thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate the umbrella fun. You and, you and Lady Jan. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> you nut. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. It helps. does help with the shipping. I do the happy mails. This guy's got some tiny little feet. To look at. Oh, where's that go? I'm just going this way, I think. That little tail. Hold on, get a little grip on that edge. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, Nettie, thank you, Nettie. Thank you so much. You guys, y'all are so awesome. Awesome guys. And everybody's a guy. Don't anybody email me. <laughs> uh, yeah, John says, I want to show of just Gary metal detecting. Oh, he, you know, he, I think he has his own YouTube channel, doesn't he? Does he have a YouTube channel? Um, for some reason, I think he does, but I might be wrong. I see him on Facebook. Do you follow Gary on Facebook? Um, Jonna, do you follow him on Facebook? Because he does post. He just got a, he just got a uh, let me go over here and see. He just got a uh, ring uh, last weekend or the weekend before, I think, in Florida. You know, And since you're down there in Florida, you could probably meet do a meetup with Gary, Jonna. Go do a meetup with Gary. He might do stuff like that. He might have tours and stuff. Let me look. Gary Drinson. Gary. Gary Trayton. Well, let's see. He was in he was in England too. Well, I don't know where. I just thought I saw maybe it was on Instagram. I just saw him post a picture holding a ring. But now all I see here is uh, I just see him in uh, eating an ice cream. <laughs> but somewhere I saw him with the ring. Let's look at photos. But anyway, he was in Florida. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not really either, but if you want to see him, um, you know, he does, he did post some there. Thank you, Nettie, for the umbrella fun. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh, all right, let's see. Let's pick a mushroom here. Maybe uh, let's pick a couple sizes. And most of the time, I'm not going to just use one element in a collage, I'm going to use multiple elements. But, um, and I'll just cut these little, I won't fussy cut these down, but I might need them with this bigger one. But I'll just keep these handy and just cut this one. Um, I think he's on IG. Maybe that's where I saw it. Let me look. Maybe that's where I saw it. He is. He is on. He is on. Uh, I don't follow him. That's why. <laughs> Let's follow Gary. Um, but is this where I saw the ring? Yeah. No. Yeah. South Florida. Maybe that's where I saw. Maybe he just popped up in my feed. So look. There we go. I followed him. And you need to meet up with with him there, John, in Florida sometime. <laughs> 
Yeah, he is. Yeah, I just followed him too. Okay, so I follow him on Facebook. I didn't follow him on IG. All right, so now two more pages we got to pick from. We could do the Las Vegas sign. We could do Mel's drive-in diner. <laughs> Uh, just random, just different signs. Let's see. There's Steve's Diner. Let's do Steve's Diner. All right. And I don't want to forget about using my C things here. All right. You like the kangaroo crossing? Was that on there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll do the kangaroo crossing. Now that means I've got to go find a kangaroo, which I'm sure there is one. Is this a kangaroo mouse? I know there's kangaroo mice. Let's we'll see what we can do. All right. All right, there's a kangaroo crossing. And let's see, oh, did I have a kangaroo on this page? No. I don't know if I pulled a page that has it, an animal animal one. All right. Then, lastly, we have different transportation. <laughs> oh, that's a deer mouse. Okay. Thanks, Tracy. All right. So let's see. Do we want a taxi? Maybe a taxi. See, some of these might be a little big. They might be a little big for the, you know, cutting of these that I cut down. But we'll play, we'll play them around with them. All right, so last one. <clears throat> Let's cut this taxi down. So remember, all we've done so far is cut down old art journal pages. with our viewfinder to be able to choose what we, um, the area of the, of the piece that we liked. Cut, no, getting rid of the shadow underneath too. And I might need to get rid of that white in there and you can use a marker to do that if you want, but there's our taxi. Okay. So now let me just get a piece of, uh, Stuff. Just to put everything on so we can see it and choose what we might want. All right, we got quite the selection, <clears throat> and there's a, even a cloud. It's not my cloud, but it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so there we go. Okay, and then we have our dinosaur and the cone. And then we had this girl here, which I thought kind of went well in front of the owl. Because he almost looks like he's looking at her. And you could even do something like this. You know, make her off the page. You could do it any way. You could do it even completely off the page. But something like maybe that. So we're just going to test out some different, different ways. Let's see. Let's zoom in one and adjust the light again. That's pretty good. Taxi could be ignoring the kangaroo crossing sign. So there's just so many things. So what you do is you just, you know, you go through. We've already got now a nice little stat, 
a nice little stack of um, images, I mean, uh, backgrounds that we can use from our old art journal pages. I do like her on that. She may end up with him. But, you know, who knows? Let's just kind of, we're going to just kind of look over here. You know, he, I mean, he could have caught himself a mouse. Right? <laughs> All right, so let's move on. I do want to work on this because I want to, I'll, I want to paint something to show y'all to paint something too. Not just, you you know, to reuse your, um, reuse your um, pages with. All right, so let's see. So I'm just going to go through and just, Kind of, you know, play around with each one. I'm a butterfly. Kind of like that look. And I'm just kind of glancing over here. Maybe, you know, if this was smaller, she could be looking at, because she looks kind of old-timey, like in the past. It would be neat to have, um, you know, a space capsule up in the sky, you know, or it could even be off the page. All right. Just going to kind of go through each one um, and kind of pick. Could have a fish in there with a kangaroo crossing. Could do a water. This almost could, looks like clouds. <clears throat> This one kind of looks the same as that one. There's a bird on that one. And I do like the colors of this with that. Although he's the focal point already. Yeah, so you have lots, so you have lots of options when you do this. Cover that other piece up right there if you don't like that. Again, another little... Kind of like that. You can make the tree grow all the way down and off the page. I'm getting some ideas. <clears throat> Do the fish. Do the cat. I need to be more carefree. Well, and see, the thing is, is if you have, a, you know, a selection of things, just, you know, maybe 20 things. Don't don't think that you have to go through that whole book every time you want to do something. Cut, you know, cut one thing off of each page. Like get 20 pages, cut one thing off, and then just play with that. You know, just cut and just play with that. Now, if I was going to use a fish on this page, I'd get a brighter color one. But it gives me the idea right i even like this i like just that composition okay we got these two little kids here maybe she's looking at them there's a whole other girls up there but maybe she's standing here looking at them could be other things going on but And you can be funny, too. I mean, you could have, you know. <laughs> you know, you can do any, you can do anything you want, you know, you can do anything you want. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Uh, this one maybe the 
the capsule is half cut off right here and, and buried in the, in, you know, coming out of the water. Or maybe she's standing here contemplating something. She's just, this girl's, you know, kind of working, working for us today. <laughs> yeah, lots of ideas, right, Debbie? All right. Or maybe there's the land of the lost going on here. He's a little big, but if he was a little smaller, we could put him a little further in the background. Let's see what else. There's a kangaroo crossing. Maybe just a mushroom over here. Or it could be up here. See, the thing is, if you go and cut, you know, you've got some things to play around with. This is where I'd probably want to use these little ones. You know, dot them around, like maybe one, two, three, four little mushrooms. Or some of these little shells. Cut these shells out and have them laying around on the little beach right here. Okay, here's another one. Look, this just happened to lay right there. <clears throat> we have a little butterfly there. Could be wings on the wings on the rooster. Um, this fish, you know, have some fish right th in there. Could be um, just you know, play around with all different ones. Maybe there's a taxi down there underwater. So look at that. It looks good just like that, I think. You know, just a little rooster right there in that little piece. I kind of see a little fence, a little awning. Could put some stars. What is it, baby? I hear you. And again, use the... Capsule. Space capsule. <clears throat> Got the girl. I hear you. I hear you, baby. All right. This one again, you could have the cat up here. And a sailboat. She's nice, bright, and colorful. She's already looking like a butterfly. Um situation <laughs> see y'all are thinking up ideas too you know she'd be holding the sign maybe she's holding it over here maybe she's waiting for a cab Maybe she's just conehead. <laughs> Maybe she's got a rooster friend. <laughs> All right. Again, this girl could fit in here easily. This see, doesn't this look like somebody kind of menacing over there that's kind of does to me so she could be right there well, we could put the kangaroo okay, crossing here's my po
you like the cone head <laughs> but you see how you can just play around with it and get ideas and if you think you might like it but you're not sure and you're still playing around you're undecided take a picture of it take a picture of it with your phone so you remember it right All right, here's another, just some watches. Again, kind of an element of time there. Same thing could work with this one. Baby. Oh, no, baby, you can't. No, oh, sorry, you're going to have to get down. Come on. Sorry, my little cloud. Sorry, my little cloud. I know. Sorry. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got that. We got this one again with the with the chick. Oh, we got this little girl here. Let's see, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. So there we go. There's a whole bunch of options there. This one, maybe the boat. Paint some water here with the boat there. Hi, Tiffany. Anybody else I missed? So I kind of like the boat, but uh, I want to go ahead and maybe just do a little bit of painting on here so you can see I also got this big cloud. <clears throat> I don't need it. I'm just kind of showing you. You got different options. If you want to go off the page here. That I'd, I'd probably make some more clouds if I did this. But you see how you don't have to stay on it either. You can go off the edges like this. It probably needs something else up here maybe. Maybe half this watch. So, something like that. I know, right? You can just, there's so many ideas. And, uh, but the other thing that I want to show you is with these is, you know, most of mine have already been painted. You know, they have mixed media as they, they are. So, what time is it? Okay, we got I want to make sure we get into um, our 1001 Creativity and oh and i'm still i said i wanted to do something out of here um and then wait, let me go back here let me pick something let's pick something something sort of watery because i want to use something out of there maybe out of no i need something ah here we go this one probably baby uh, i know you're gonna creep you're gonna have to lay down because you're gonna be moving all mama's stuff <sighs> Okay, let's see. Maybe this, these two. Well, I'm just going to stop with those two. And because um, I wanted to do uh, like a like one of the quotes, right? So like this one's got more watery. So let's just roll with that. Let's see here. Let me move these out of the way a minute because, you know, the cloud. <sighs> Look. Are you happy now? I have no room to work. You're happy, but I in purring, but I have no room to work. <laughs> the cloud is really. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see about painting anything and putting a word. I wanted to do a quote on here. Let's look at the, the two quotes I picked. One was a Van Gogh quote. The heart of man is very much like the sea. It has its storms. It has its tides. And in its depth, it has its pearls too. So see, a nice little pearly something right here would be good. See, this is the heart here. 
and then I can do some more watery splashes. Let's see if I can, what I can do with the cat. <sighs> just a little bit of white paint, just a little, a little bit of little brush. <laughs> just to do it a little bit more um, stormy like, you know, more. Oh, you don't like that, huh? You don't like the paint? Did you see how quick she jumped up? What is it? You just want the brush to play with, but you don't want paint on it? Okay, so just a little, you know, that I think that's enough, like, extra little water, splashy bits, like a storm. All right, here. There you go. All right, let's move that. Now I maybe get one thing out of here, and I want to put this quote on here. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I like this octopus. Now, the only thing is, is I'm going to have to fussy cut it because I'm not going to want all this bit on here. Could paint it in. Oh, well, let me just hang on. Give me just a minute. I'm going to fussy cut him. And then we're going to then we're going to brush letter the quote. I might have to paint it in. It's going to be too time consuming, I think. I'm holding on to the sticky back. But we're going to make it work. Aren't we, Malibu? We're going to make it work. Y'all still with the tour? Need some fussy cutting music. <laughs> oh, great. I stuck that sticker on there. <laughs> you can only take a minute, really. I just like this little guy here. And then I'll think about maybe a Kind of a gray blue to do the quote with. Brush letter, brush marker. I hope y'all are getting some ideas for real. For real. I hope y'all are getting some ideas and writing them down. I'm going around the outer edge, then I'll go back and fussy cut into the tentacles here it's a little tricky too because it is a sticker you know it is sticky could paint it in but since I'd already gone this far with cut fussy cutting let's get these off my fingers So I need to fussy cut in there and right in there. Let's go this way, I think. It's a little tricky cutting these little tentacles out and having it sticky on the background. All right. So if I want to get right in there, I'm just going to cut through this one and go right in there. 
because when you glue, stick it down, you're not going to see where you cut through something. Okay. A couple more spots here. We'll do the quote. Try to be careful. Do you where is your exacto? I don't I don't like using exacto knife to fussy cut. That's just me. A lot of a lot of collage artists love using their exacto knives. I don't love it. I'd rather, I'd, I feel like I have more control with scissors. And then a lot of times I'm painting it anyway after it's down. But uh, yeah, I like, uh, I like scissors better than uh, a knife. Okay, one more little spot here. And besides, this is a sticker. I couldn't really lay it down very easily and cut it without it sticking to whatever. Even a, even a glass mat, it's going to want to not release. Okay, let's see if I can get right around that one last little. I think I'll just paint that last. I'm going to paint that last one in. Okay, so let's see. here Now, where's that boat, too? Where's that ship? Where'd my ship go? Here it is. Did I want the ship? It's too big. It needs to be a smaller ship if I use that. So I think I'll just go with the octopus alone. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually sticking this sticker down. <clears throat> okay. Then this little one little spot here where it's kind of a cream color. I'm going to go over it with the white background. All right, there we go. Now, let's see. Let's get a gray. I want to do this quote. <clears throat> let's see here. Get a brush marker. A gray. It's this darker gray that may work. Oh, here's a lighter gray. Let's see which one of those. Oh, wait, here's kind of a blue gray. We'll go with that one. All right. All right. So then we're going to read out of our 1001 Ways to Be Creative. Oh, and also, guys, I'm going to write this quote, but if you didn't want to write a quote, you could cut things out. <clears throat> like here, look. Now turn the globe. I mean, I could so just use now turn the globe. I would love that. Or our side is in the dark. See, any of those sentences would be a good description. But I'm going to do uh, brush lettering. So let's see. I guess I will get a ruler and put a pencil mark for Janet. Where's my pencil? <laughs> I know I have a pencil here. Let me find one. <sighs> okay, because I don't, I did not measure this out, so um, I can kind of visualize it like just putting the heart of man is very much like, I don't know, then maybe the C. See, I'm doing it too big already. I'm already oversizing. I mean, making my spaces too big to get that whole quote in there. So I'm going to have to write smaller. I'm going to have to get some, get smaller. Do you love how you use my use matte to frame collage? Yeah, that makes it uh, versatile. All right, so let's see. Maybe if I did. Probably about that much. I'm 
probably going to end up it's not going to come out right but i just want to show y'all you know take your time probably pencil it out that'd probably be the best way like the heart of man is very much like the sea It has its storms. It has its tides. And in its depths, it has it's pearls too and then put a little thing here and put vincent van go okay all right i know you can't see it i wanted it as light as i could do it now i'm going to get the small brush tip and hope this marker works <laughs> okay let's see here <clears throat> I'm going to have to tilt it just a little. I usually try to keep things straight for you guys. But, all right, let's see what we can do. It's a little greener than I want, but oh well. I should have tested it. I'll go ahead and do the is over here. And I already can see I need to go over here now. Like I start the next sentence over here, but it needs to come over here. Again, this color is not what I wanted. Okay, so just a little cursive. Let me dry it. Ugh. Sorry, baby. <laughs> I totally forgot she was right there. Sorry, didn't mean to freak you out, Malibu. <laughs> Sorry, baby. She goes, all right, that's it for me, Mama. I'm out of here. <laughs> She doesn't usually mind it, but she's usually not that close. She's usually right over on the side when I turn it on. It doesn't bother, but I think it actually blew on her. So, <laughs> oh, I have to make that up to her. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> uh, exit stage left. Exactly, Rachel. All right, so there we go. Just a little cursive under there. So just to show you that you can use, um, you can use your, uh, put this in an art journal if you want to put quotes, right?
Or if you want to cut words out, if you don't want to write, you know, cut a little quote out um, to put on there. Okay, so there we go. We didn't get a lot of painting in there, but a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now um, let's go ahead and read out of this, and let's see if we have time to pick something really quick out of our 365 days of art. I am going to take these pages out, I think. Well, I'll have to attach this one. This one doesn't have um, hole punches. And put them in this little thin binder. So I think we're going to do, we'll use that. So let's go ahead and read out of our thousand one ways to be creative and a thousand one ways to creativity. And then we'll pick one of these little easy projects out of the book to work in. Okay. For more creativity and more ideas, because you know, <laughs> All right, so a thousand one ways to be creative. A little book of everyday inspiration, Barbara and Kipfer, and we're up to. Uh, oh no, I don't think we read "Get to Know Your Own Style." I don't think. I don't think we did. So this is where we are. So we're getting close to the end of this book, and we are already rolling into this one that Rachel got us. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we read these last time. I'm going to read them again because I don't think we did. Okay, so remember, write down in your Society of, Inst uh, Society of Idea Collectors or on a Post-it note or just somewhere, write down what occurs to you uh, regardless of if it's exactly what I'm reading because whatever's occurring to you will be your idea. Okay. May disappear. Okay, Terry, we're not going to be here that much longer. Thanks for coming in. Thanks everybody that's been here and the lurkers. All right. Get to know your own style. Write a paragraph about why you create the beginnings of an artist's statement. Expand this story to explain for whom you create the one the sentence just above it study the lives and works of people who inspire you in art writing music and other media create a montage of images that invigorate you kind of like a vision board of things make a list of themes that attract you like you know i like space and uh sea and you know and you want time will make you a list of things that um, themes that attract you. List skills or techniques you need and want to master. Collect fabric swatches that catch your eye. Make a Pinterest board of colors and patterns you love. Copy creative works that inspire you in any medium. This will help you notice the details that make up the whole. Then create something similar but your own personal spin on it. All right, now we're up to 979. Treat yourself to a, a creative bath with blowing bubbles and special scented soaps. Well, this is just me. I'm not dissing on people that love their bubble baths. Don't email me. I do not take baths. I only take showers. I cannot stand to think of sitting in dirty water. No matter how clean I am, I cannot take, I don't take baths. I mean, of course I would if it were, if I had to, but you know, I just do not like sitting in water. It, it, mm -mm. Anyway, keep toys on your desk. <laughs> when you are in a strange, when you are in the strange, disquieting, chaotic place before you start a creative project, Sit with the feeling without judging it or trying to change it. Rest in contemplation. Await the breakthrough to aha. And, you know, that's just like when we were moving all those little collage elements around. You know, you're moving on this one to that one and this one. Yeah, that doesn't work. But then all of a sudden you go, aha, <laughs> that one looks like that will work. You know, that's that's your aha. Write about living in another time period. 
So there we go. That is out of our Thousand One Ways to Be Creative, a little book of everyday inspiration, Barbara Ann Kipfer. And uh, I know this is available on Amazon. I got mine at Tuesday morning years ago. But yeah. Okay. Now let's do our Thousand One Ways to Creativity. And again, this is just ideas on the on the topic on the subject of creativity. You may or may not, I may or may not agree with them all, but just think about it. Think how it might apply to you. How would you, how would you change it up to make it appropriate or, um, you know, applicable to you? So <laughs> creativity has been said consists largely of rearranging what we know in order to find out what we do not know. Hence, to think creatively, we must be able to look afresh at what we normally take for granted. Um, and I'm, I'm, some of them I'm just going to skip because there's some of them that say that almost the same thing. A hunch is creativity trying to tell you something. This is a Thomas Wolfe quote. This is the artist then. Life's hungry man, the gluttony of eternity, beauty's miser, glory, glory's slave. And this one doesn't have a who said this. You cannot force creativity, but you can and should create the conditions in which it will flourish. And see, I kind of agree with that. But then I kind of think also, if you sit down and start, that's creativity will happen. If you just kind of, you know, wait, lay around or sit around and wait for a, a creative feeling, it's not, that's not how it works. And that's never going to come. You have to sit down, pick up a pencil, a paintbrush, a collage and start. You have to start something and then you'll start seeing those ahas. All right. I'll read two more pages here. Creativity decays when it is not used and flows when it is regularly tapped. The real voyage of discovery lies not in finding new lands, but in seeing with new eyes. We are all born creative. It's just that some of us forget our creativity when we leave childhood. Creativity is always a question, never an answer. All right, so now I'm going to put our little post-it note in there for next week. And let's see what we can do a little something, something before we leave. I know this little book here. Let me give you all an ISBN on this one. Minus the cat fur. 978 1 78 212 2838. And um, Rachel sent this to me from, it's an, I think it's an older book. She sent it to me from Thrift Books. So it is from 2013. Maybe on Amazon. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to go over to 365 Days of Art, a creative exercise for every day of the year. Lorna Scobie. And um, we are not doing it in order. We're not doing one a day. We're skipping around just to whatever. So we did the little fish with some watercolor. We just water quickly watercolored some little fish and then went back in here with some Posca or you can go with whatever you got and uh, decorate your little fish. So this was the inspiration. And then we did a whole page of fish. Actually, I think this is a third page that I've done of these fish. Then we did um, these quick faces. So here is our little sample. They give you just a just to put a little, you know, cross in each face to so you can know where the eyes go. And, um, but I showed you how to do looking in different directions by angling, angling the uh, division of the faces. And then I'd put little cheeks and a chin. And then you can just, this, these take literally five seconds. You know, just quick little faces. <clears throat> so like here, like this one here quick little face and just do you know real quickly just a quick little cheeks chin a little a little mouth maybe some eyebrows and then there you go then you then you can go back in and you can start um making more details right give her a ponytail or something 
But this is great practice and very freeing up uh, to do these little faces like this. Just very quick. So we kind of did our own thing that way. And again, I just did these on some copy paper that's already been punched. So uh, I'll just put them in there. I'll write like this was from day 11. Because I'm not going in order. And then these little fish, these were from day 6. day 11 let's we'll come another day 11 here and then the other one we did was some patterns just different patterns they had a little thing where you just divided up some squares and just did all different patterns and so this was day 25 and then we took it a step further and did some in color So by the time you do, and I'll put these in the notebook, by the time you do 365 them, they're not even all going to fit in here in this little notebook, especially if we do a couple pages of each. All right, so let's see what we want to do next. Let me get let me get out some paper. Let's get out a couple sheets of paper. Oops. And see what we want to do next. <laughs> All right. So this one was design a wallpaper behind the chair. I just want to flip till something just attracts me. Fill the page with colored dots. See, some of these are really going to be, you know, quick. Well, I say quick. To fill a whole page with dots will take some time. Here's some little shirts that you can design your own T-shirts. That's kind of fun. Here's some, uh, let's see, add details to these flowers. Add, do different branches and different uh, trees and add different types of leaves. And stars. What's this one? Complete the pattern. Let's see. Draw within the black area using white pastel or chalky white color pencil. Okay, this will be a good one. Now, y'all know if you use <clears throat> acrylic paint, white pencil is amazing on it. So what we're going to do is just get out a little bit of black paint here. And uh, we'll just use uh, we'll just use some uh, black paint and some pencil. All right, what I do with my left hand here. Dry out my brush. All right, and again, this is just on, you know, copy paper. You need that book? This one? Let me, I'm not sure if you're talking about this one. 365 Days of Art, a creative exercise for every day of the year. Lorna Scobie and the ISBN on, and this, I got mine on Amazon. 9781784881115 but if you just put in Lorna Scope then I think there's three different three different ones of these I have two I have two of them I think there's a writing an art and create a creativity one and we're just using the art art one sorry I got the hiccups from my my lemon water okay all right, so let's go ahead and just do some shapes. You could have them not be perfect around the edges, you know, kind of messy around the edges. You could do a few different ones. Maybe have it kind of be messy around it on purpose real messy yes. okay there we go all right let's dry it baby's not around here the cloud oh there she is she's asleep on the other side of the she's not even budging now as long as it's not blowing on her i think she's <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, uh, it could be a pasta. You could use some pasta. I'll use both. I really wanted to use pencil, but we'll use both, Rachel. All right, so where's my pen? So this is day 38. Okay. Well, let me get my pencils. And you can do a, a couple different, and yes, I have pencil extenders, and I have tons more white pen, white pencils, so don't worry, people. <laughs> but, um, you know, you could do different, uh, you could do kind of like rain, maybe coming through a cloud. You could do, you could do uh, planets, and maybe a couple different colors, because pencil goes over acrylic paint really nice looking for an orange there we go. <clears throat> of course you can do any kind of patterns or anything so you can do with pencil and let's do the Posca which will be even wider you could do splatter with paint you know when how we do a bucket of stars and just splatter it Let's just do one shooting star there. And this could be more, you know, more rain going off the clouds here. Coming out of the clouds. We can do a cloud on a cloud. So anyway, just so you can see, you can do Posca. Let's try a color Posca. Let's try a pink. Here's a pink Posca. <clears throat> just to show you that you can use all different kinds of things on black acrylic paint. Because I'm not working actually in the book or on that black you know, printed bit that they gave you. Let's see. Oh, I just saw Becky. Oh, Becky got her. I just saw this popped up on my IG. I sent Becky sent me um, some little uh, tidbits and uh, an ATC last. Well, I say last week probably the week before but anyway she posted on instagram i sent her some uh papers and some uh different fabrics sorry fabrics because y'all know she's a quilter and she does a lot of fabric work so i sent her some fabric bits and a little note there so there's becky you're welcome becky let me say you're welcome Okay. Oh, and I think Angie, let me see. Jan, Lady Jan, did she text me? Somebody did. Somebody dinged me. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> T Rex chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jan. You're so funny. All right, so let's see. And I think let's do a little writing. You could write on it. If you did a whole bunch of, like a big square of black, you could do quotes on it. Let me get a smaller one. Where's my smaller Posca? Here we go. You could write quotes on it. Quotes notes so yeah a little bit more in there you could put a little dot inside each of these little flowers and of course you don't have to limit it to a black background you could use all different colors of your acrylic paint to make your you know uh do the same thing with different colors of uh, different colors of uh, paint. All right, 
Thanks, Terry. Anybody else? Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. So I'll put this in our notebook for the day. <clears throat> day 38. These are real simple. They're just like little inspiration. If you feel a whole, but, you know, again, if you have some kind of an idea notebook, some kind of inspiration, Society of Idea Collectors, and if you want to post anything and hashtag Society of Idea Collectors, you have to write the whole word out because um, a school has uh, SOIC. We use SOIC hashtag, but I think a school took that. So we just type out, I mean, write out the whole hashtag Society of Idea Collectors because, you know. <laughs> so I hope y'all have fun. I hope y'all had fun today and got some ideas and some inspiration. You guys are great. Thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for all the, the thumbs up. Thank you for the super chats and the umbrella fund. <laughs> You guys got some great sense of humor. I love it. And uh, I will probably, oh, and also don't forget, let me remind y'all, Keisha has got her auction Friday and Saturday, Keisha's Creations, May 6th and 7th. I think she said she's starting around noon, noon Eastern or 1 Eastern. But anyway, the 6th and 7th, she's going to have her auctions on Friday, and um, so if y'all liked uh, the Crafty Marketplace, and um, yeah, I think that's all the information I got. Anybody else got any, like, last words of um, inspiration? You're welcome. Thanks, Janet, Dot, Lady, Cat and Paste, and hi, Ann. Uh, I know it is, right, Ann? It's, that's why I do it, because it makes y'all smile. Thanks, Dark Woods. Uh, May the 4th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. I'll show you. I posted on Instagram, Facebook, and um, and uh, Twitter. Wait, let me get over to my... Oh, hang on. Samantha's messaging me. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> I use my same Yoda every year. I use this every year. This is from 2015. So I've used him for six years now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Rachel. Gratefulness for inspiration. Thank you, Rachel. So sweet. And um, I hope you all have a great Mother's Day or what, however you celebrate your mother. If you're a mother, your sister. All you mothers, <laughs> all you mothers, this will be my first year without my mom. You know, she passed away in August and a preppy crafty girl just lost her mom. So y'all keep her in your prayers too. And um, so all of y'all have a good Mother's Day weekend and um, may the fourth be with you. Bye guys. <laughs>